eventually we like, to, we like to facilitate brain signal data formatting standardization. You know, for such uh, nascent technology or science uh, as brain uh, and neuro, uh, neuroscience stands for now, it, it is difficult to talk about standardization. I have been pushed by the Brain Initiative um, members to get involved in standardization, but I don't like to put the cart before the horses, so I am hoping for open, usable data sets to be made available so that eventually all the information can be shared. Hopefully there will be an easier way for people to uh, assess. At that point, standardization will come along without any further push. So this summarizes the three events we have held in 2017, starting uh, from uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, uh, the local host uh, from uh, State, uh, St. Petersburg State University of Television and Film, and also the Pavlov Institute of Physiology, Russian uh, Academy of Sciences, have uh, lended us tremendous help and they were very proud of what they have done, and they have quite impressive projects that were presented. So there will be two speakers, Professor Glassman and um, Anna Stetsenko, who will tell us what actually happened and what they have experienced. And the second event, well, actually the second event initially was meant for ICCE Berlin. Uh, it didn't happen, but we had a uh, much, um, more involvement from Europe uh, as a whole through these, uh, the Sensor Council uh, annual conference. And our uh, challenge, the Brand Data BDB uh, challenge, was one of the key area they tried to expand through, uh, from the traditional sensor um, talks or research. So that was done in October and um, the winning project was identified there, uh, and we have encountered a lot of uh, government limitations as far as privacy issue. So that conference or that event, although successful, but the attendance level uh, wasn't as high as uh, we expected. So the last one just happened uh, less than less than uh, two months ago, about a, a month ago. Uh, in Boston, we have the, uh, one of the, uh, the, the co-chairs here uh, to speak about his experience and uh, share with you insights. But before we start all this, well, oh, okay, let me just finish, uh, uh, mention one more thing. In 2018, we plan to bring this event to China. Uh, there have been uh, a very, very, uh, proactive organizing committee approaching us, trying to bring this to China. Uh, so there will be more details announced uh, later. But um, before we talk about all these competitions, we start with brain data sets. Okay, I have a key uh, organizer or the, the data, data set owner here, uh, Professor Agura from uh, UC San Francisco here as our first speaker. He will lay out the uh, background information. He will have some uh, vibrant discussions as far as data set itself is concerned. Okay, without further ado, I think I finished my introduction. So if I go over the time, somebody has to raise your hand and say, well, you speak too much. We want to listen to the other speakers. So. Uh, let me start with the first one. Okay, I, I, okay, here it is. I want to introduce to you uh, Professor Wang King Agura. He's the director of uh, clinical program. Look at the second bullet, if you can read it. Otherwise, uh, I would just read it for you. Um, in the Department of Neurology and uh, Psychiatry in uh, uh, University of California, San Francisco. And Dr. Agura's work leverages state-of-the-art technological approaches to create, number one, advanced training tools to remediate cognitive deficiencies, and number two, uh, use mobile technology to robustly characterizing individual abilities outside of the laboratory. 